Hi. Been a while. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still recovering from being sick. Um, but I thought it would be really important to hop on here and discuss, well, recent events. Um, as a lot of you know, the election for the uh, United States president was held just a few days ago at this point. Um, and it was not the outcome the majority of the internet was hoping for. The majority of the internet was hoping that freedom to be who you want would have won, but no. If you've seen my community page for the three main, the quote unquote main channels, <clears throat> if you've seen my blue sky, which you should go follow me on there, and if you've seen my Twitter, I have been actively trying to help others um, with, you know, trying to deal with the fact that a racist, homophobic, transphobic, misogynistic, convicted felon was elected president of the quote-unquote land of the free. Um, and I hate, and I mean hate, bringing politics into any of my content. But, holy shit, can I not stand this guy. I, even though I'm not, technically I'm part of LGBT, um, I am gray sexual for those who don't know, but so, so technically I am part of that, although I am not at all saying that I'm the one that's going to be oppressed. It's, it's going to be, you know, like if you're gay, lesbian, and sadly, especially if you're trans, which in my mind is so fucked up. I am such a big advocate for being who you want to be doing what you want to do as long as you are not hurting anyone else go for your dreams do what your heart is telling to <coughs> these next four years or maybe less who knows what will happen sadly it could even be more from what I've heard all of this is stuff on the internet but it wouldn't shock me if he did do this Trump is tr it w once again I don't know if this is real. Probably should have done research. But uh, the only reason I'm saying it now is because it wouldn't surprise me if it was real or not. He might be trying to overturn the 22nd Amendment. Which is the one that limits presidents to two terms. And if he does that. I might. I know I'm not. I might. I will move to a different country. I'm telling you that now. I currently. I'm 16. By the time. Trump's presidency will be over. I'll be 20. So, I'm moving. I, I will be going to Canada, thank you very much. Um, Canadians seem pretty nice. Um, as much as I would like to live in the States, you know, because I'm going to be optimistic here. When I get big, I would like to do some events or, you know, hang out with friends. And chances are, a majority of them live in the States. So, being in the States would just be more convenient on that front. But... If the states turn into a fucking misogynistic, homophobic, racist land, I'm not going. I'm not going. I don't want to be a part of that. No. I saw this trending on Twitter, which one I shouldn't even be on Twitter at all anymore. Um, and two, it was the phrase. This is once again. This is by definitely conservatives. I'm saying that now. Your body my choice which is so fucked up very f have you seen the shit andrew tate's tweeting he has tweeted multiple times that women don't have rights anymore that shit's scary trump isn't fit to be president the same people who are complaining about biden being too old are saying trump's god I've seen this going around, and I agree with it 100%. Trump is the American Hitler. He is. It's, um, it, it's, it's so fucked up in so many ways. Um, it, it's really troubling to see, uh, all this shit going down. Um, especially as someone who was part of the swing states, um, I was very saddened to see that my state voted for Trump 
And by the way, I'm saying all six swing states voting for Trump is very unlikely. I had to fucking demand a recount. That shit, no. That shit was too big of a landslide to even let that pass. He clearly fucking cheated. He cheated back in 2016, too. What are the odds that Trump and Vance both get impeached? Is that possible? I hope it is. Like I said, I hate to bring politics into content because I don't want people to, you know, decide what they think of me based on politics. This is the one time I'm making an exception. If you are a Trump supporter, if you are a Trump backer, uh, stay at least 700 feet away from me. I do not condone, I do not advocate for anything he says. And if you support everything he says, or at least, like, if you support anything of the racism, the misogynistic part of him, I don't know why I said it like that, the homophobia, the transphobia, especially, the leave. I don't want you part of this community. This community is built on openness and inclusivity. That includes trans. That includes people of any race. That includes people of any gender, of any sexuality. Trump is the only one forbidden, though. And Vance. Both them. Fuck them. We need a recount. We aren't going to be like the fucking people that stormed the Capitol on January 6th, 2021. But we demand a recount. Like I said earlier, this shit was too big of a landslide to just let by. Harris was winning in the like was leading polls in the majority of those states, Pennsylvania and Michigan specifically. She was leading in those states. And yet now they're like 2% Republican more? No. Highly unlikely. Highly unlikely. The fact that Philadelphia's votes for Democrat didn't like impact the thing at all. It pretty much it went up in Republican, but like when Philadelphia's votes stopped counting, they were like they were very close in terms of like Philadelphia's had like sixty percent of their votes counted, and they were very close in terms of Democrat Republican. And yet, after the entire thing, Philadelphia's like majority Democrat, like eighty percent majority Democrat, didn't affect that at all. It made it went it made it worse. I don't believe that now. Uh, and sadly, the House is also looking to become fully Republican, uh, which, fuck that. And so is the Senate's already mainly majority Republican, not fully Republican, majority Republican is what I meant. So sadly, Trump's going to get what he wants. That is, unless he is impeached beforehand, or that he's somehow convicted beforehand, which highly unlikely to happen. If he is prosecuted in New York, I don't know how long he'll face for his 34 felonies. Hopefully it's life, life in jail. Can you, can you pardon yourself as president? There's no way they allow you to pardon yourself as president. Right? <laughs> right? The man is bad. I don't know how else to put it. He's bad. And up from, once again, I tried looking this up to do research on it, but it's just too new of data to have any big significant articles made about it. But suicide rates have sadly gone up in the past two days. As I'm recording this, it is uh, 9.13 p.m. on Thursday, November 7th. Eastern time. Um, so sadly, like I said, suicide rates have gone up. And I posted about this on my YouTube community page on three channels, the Mercil Chatter link LMP, and I believe I'm going to post this on one of Chatter, because that's where it's probably going to reach the most people. Um, and two, uh, I've been actively reposting things on Twitter to help encourage others. Um, three, I've been posting on Blue Sky uh, about, you know, don't, don't give up. And I posted recently on Instagram the same thing, don't, don't give up. There's always help. Um, they've recently opened up a trans suicide hotline, so that's really fucking good. Um, I never wanted to bring politics into my channel. I wanted to be free of politics, free of the things that people hate the most. Um, but we're here. We're at this point, and sadly, it looks like we could be going down a dictatorship, which was the entire premise of what 
the founding fathers didn't want. They wanted freedom for all. Well, you know what I mean. And sadly, that prosperity is going away. Luckily, states have been trying to remedy Trump's actions. Um, the New, y- New York has just passed an amendment to protect abortion rights and protect the same-sex marriage, which is fucking good on them. New York doing their best, as always. Um, California is uh, passing laws to prevent Trump from getting rid of their climate change acts, um, which is, once again, good on California. They, 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 they need to fucking do that. Um, I want to move eventually in the near future like i i i'm prime age to, for looking into colleges the college i want to go to is uh gcu in uh phoenix arizona so luckily phoenix um sadly arizona seems to be going somehow republican this election i don't know fucking how there's some sort of rigging going on in this um which is ironic you know the erb battle hillary versus trump <laughs> Trump mentioned the fact that the elections were rigged. What what the fuck is he doing now? Um, (coughs) This is probably the only post I'll make on... with the video about this topic. Best you can do, take your mind off it. Play video games. uh, Read a book. Watch TV. Watch anime. Fuck it. Watch gay porn. If that's what you're into, do it. Um, Anything to get your mind off these troubles. And I've even seen that a lot of previous Republicans voted for Harris. Um, And yet somehow, someway, every swing state, every, like most states where there was like majority Democrat, a lot of them have like opt Republican. Uh, Apparently, I, once again, I don't know if this is true. 30 million votes are unaccounted for. And among other things, it's just multiple bomb threats at like democratic areas um, to prevent people from going to the polls. You know, Pokemon go to the polls, but um, <laughs> little little Hillary reference for you there. I'm going to say this once and once more. If you are a Trump supporter, leave do it now i don't want you here i don't want you spreading your hateful ways trump is the hitler of america and i will stand by that there are many hills i'm willing to die on this might be the biggest one that man is not fit for presidency that man is not fit for any position of power For Christ's sakes, he's backed by Andrew Tate. That should say enough. There is a chance that Elon Musk, Joe Rogan, Andrew Tate, and Donald Trump are all part of our government. And that is not okay. Elon Musk. You know what all of them have in common? All of them are purely in it for the money. They're purely in it to make those dollars. They're not in it for you. They are businessmen. They aren't politicians. They aren't... They shouldn't represent the American people. We will separate ourselves from Trump. Whenever someone talks about America now... If it... It's... Don't let yourself be down by this news. There is always hope, like I said. There is always... I think my favorite quote about this is there there is always light at the end of the tunnel. Sadly, it looks like that Harris and Biden aren't going to demand a recount, um, which fucking sucks, because it is more than obvious that he cheated. Um, The man, he, he, he cheats good, but man, does he hide... He hides it awfully. Times are scary. The last four years have been great in terms of rights uh, towards people that didn't have them before. Sadly, it looks like unless you're a cis, white, hetero, straight male, 
or had her own straight mean the same thing. Fuck. <laughs> Unless you're a cis, white, hetero male. I don't know. I don't know, and that fucking sucks. The fact that the Suda. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. The fact that the suicide hotlines for LGBTQIA plus are backed up is fucked. It, it is so fucked. The man isn't dividing us. What he's doing is he's giving us a leader that we can't hold on hope to. Sadly, the majority of the people around me are Republicans. Um... So, the past two days have been pretty shitty for me, to say the least. Um, uh, <sighs> I don't know. I, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm scared. I am very scared about the rights being taken away from people that deserve rights who have been oppressed for so many years just to get their rights and then have them be taken away from them not even a fucking half a decade later. Like, same-sex marriage wasn't legalized to like 2000, until recently, like in the 2000s. So it hasn't even been fucking a quarter of a year yet. At, min at max, it hasn't even been a quarter of a year yet. And their rights are already, you know, being threatened to be taken away. Not even threatened, they're... I think I say this for all of us. He does not stand for America. He is not American. He does not represent Americans. I'll admit, I'm not that patriotic. Never have been. Never, you know, anytime I see an American flag on something, I'm like, blech, blech, whatever. But I, you know, I'm like, it's whatever. People like it. I don't care. But I think now is a more time than ever to stand up. Don't, like, fucking storm the Capitol. That was awful. Um, but, like... <laughs> I hesitate to even say protest, because, like, that he what, what is he going to do then? The odds of you being, you know... The, the criticizing the government part of the Constitution... That is... Uh, that's being threatened. There's no way that he's not going to oppress people for criticizing his government. No way in hell. <laughs> I think the best thing we can do now... <clears throat> is hope that Congress still, like, holds him accountable. Luckily, for any amendment to be passed, 10 or more states, for any amendment to, to, to be passed, 30 of the states, no, not 30, 40 of the states have to approve it. Which mean, which, uh, which is, no, no, it's not 40. But, you know, so there's 50 states, and it has to be a three-fourths majority to approve. So 75% of 50. What is 75% of 50? You can't evenly divide it by four. You get close. So it's like 12 states. You have to have, like, we'll just say 12 states for now. 12 states. So that means you need 38 states to approve. To approve an amendment for it to pass. The odds of 38 of the states passing an amendment that could make Trump's reign, I'm not even going to call it a presidency, or his reign last longer than these next four years is unlikely. How many, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to look up a political map of the, uh, of the election. What is this one for? Oh, that's someone's got some. All right, let's see here. How many, how many states voted blue? One. Those aren't all the states that voted blue. No, I need the ones that actually voted blue. There we go. Okay. There we go. How many states voted blue? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. <coughs> so the odds of an amendment passing that makes Trump's presidency win is slim. Very, very slim. California, Oregon, Washington, Colorado, New Mexico, Minnesota, Illinois, Virginia, which is kind of, kind of shocking. 
Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, oh, and Hawaii, so 19. And Hawaii are all Democrat, Democratic states. Which, fuck yeah. The fact that, like, we could probably prevent him from passing any of those amendments, even if Congress passes it, is pretty fucking, pretty fucking stoking. Um... The fact that I have to get into politics this young, I'm 16, the fact that I'm already getting into politics like this, fucking sucks. It, it truly is a, a fucking downer that I have to. In case you wanted to see my prediction for what the presidency was going to look uh, come out to, for the 270 to win, if you've seen probably seen that website, the 270 to win. This is a really weird map. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm just gonna fill in the colors real quick. Uh, I'll show you what I thought the presidency was gonna look like. Okay. Oh, wait, what's... Oh, Alaska and Hawaii. Wait, this is... Oh, DC. Okay, here, I'll show you what I thought the presidency was gonna look like. Uh, if I can fucking find the states that I thought. Oh, there it is. Okay, this is... Here, I'll show my screen real quick. Give me a minute. Okay, here we go. This is what I thought it was going to look like. Sadly, I was uh, duped on these two, and this one. So that's actually what it looks like. Oh wait, no. Yeah, you see how highly unlikely that is. Three twelve. Three twelve. Every swing state voting in his favor. No. No, at least one of the swing states. I was hoping either Michigan or Pennsylvania. Or even if, fuck it, even Arizona. This is what I was predicting was going to be the outcome. Pretty, oh, wait, not North Carolina. No, no, North Carolina is probably going to be Republican. But this is what I was predicting the outcome to be. Two Harris winning by a narrow margin. The fact that it was this instead? Highly unlikely. Doubt it. F to doubt. Um, I need to go. <laughs> like I was saying earlier, though. Never, and I mean never, give up. There is always hope at the end of the fucking tunnel. And if you need to, there's the suicide hotlines that you can contact. Stay safe out there. I'll... I feel like I got to do my end, uh, my outro. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.